So, uh, I'm glad to announce that we have over 600 hackers joining us today in the upcoming uh, two weeks to start hacking together. And I would like to, first of all, thank to our great sponsors that make it all possible. So we have a really great lineup of sponsors, including Polygon, Golem, Statoots, Hermes, Ram, Chainlink, Moonbeam, and, and other sponsors like Starkware, DNS, and FakeDAO. And we get extraordinary support from both Ethereum Foundation and Defcon Bugatti. And thanks to them, this whole thing is happening. And thanks to them, we're going to have an extraordinary uh, awards that we'll talk about in just a few moments. So what's ahead of us? We have an opening weekend that starts just now, then two weeks on hack and, hacking and uh, finale. So opening weekend, Friday, today, we have an opening ceremony that has just started. Then we're going to have a uh, roughly half an hour of price presentations from our sponsors. And we're going to end up today with an opening discussion panel of blockchain. Now, for all those that are joining us and would like to hack, but didn't have a chance to do anything in the blockchain, we have the whole weekend of workshops that starts tomorrow. Introduction to the blockchain, introduction to DeFi, to Ethereum, and to Solidity, everything that happens on Saturday. And on Saturday, we have introduction to tooling, uh, we're going to be building our own ERC20 tokens, and we're going to be building the apps at the top of what we built on, on, on in Solidity and on the blockchain. So two days of two days of workshops. It's all led by Edwards engineers. And to join, just make sure that you connect with the link provided in the agenda on our website. Then we have two full weeks of hacking. For all those of you who don't want to hack, just want to watch the presentation, there is uh, two weeks of presentation again, and uh, there's going to be, I think, at least three or four or five presentations every single day for the next two weeks, starting on Monday, Monday through Friday. And the same for the week two, and then we have a finale. There is a deadline for all those that decide to join us and hack and build their own product, would like, would like to apply for bounties. There's going to be a deadline on Monday, May the 31st, 11 a.m. Central Eastern Summertime. It's Central European Summertime, sorry. Uh, there's going to be two days of judging, and the winner announcement is going to be on the June the 2nd at 3 p.m. again, Central European Summertime. So, speaking about presentations, we have a great, great lineup of speakers. We have top speakers from all the major sub industries of blockchain. We have top speakers from DeFi, we have uh, uh, top speakers from Layer 2, and there's going to be a very, uh, I expect, very heated debate on uh, Layer 2 uh, layer two panel. Uh, we have uh, representatives of DAOs, and there's going to be a DAO panel as well. And, and finally, there's uh, plenty of people building all kinds of tooling and infrastructure for Ethereum and other EVM chains as well. So uh, if you just want to watch, then you can, at any point of time, just go to, the, to the, our YouTube channel at YouTube, uh, Zero X Hack. And uh, it's Zero X Poland, actually. It's Zero X Poland. I see that the link here is the wrong one. So we're going to put the right one in the description. And now it's time to talk about awards. So we have more than $65,000 in the bounty pools. Uh, they're coming from our sponsors. There is uh, 10,000 pools from Golem, Polygon, Status, and Eforks, and Hermes as well. And we have three 5,000 pools from RAM, Chainlink, and Wundi. Um, now it's time for sponsor talks, and we're going to present the hours in detail. Give us just one second to switch the screen. Hey everyone, a super warm welcome to OX Hack. My name's Matthias and I am head of community at Golem Factory where we are working on building Golem Network. So first off, what is Golem? Golem is a peer-to-peer -peer platform for computation where we have uh, three main participants. We have providers that provide the computation. We have requesters that 
pay for computation through the providers of the network. And then we also have developers that can also be requesters, of course, and they will create applications that will run requests on the network. And just as another note, for Golma Network with its most recent implementation, which is named Yagna, we use layer two uh, payments for GLM, the token on uh, CK Sync. So to dive in, Golem is a place where you can compute, you can uh, create, earn. So that's the kind of the providers, the requesters, the developers. And what we're offering at OX Hack is two bounties. So we're doing two open track, open track bounties where developers can choose a little bit what they would like to build. So the two prizes for, or the prize for each of the bounties is 5,000 USDC, which is equivalent to 5,000 uh, US dollars. And because Golem Network is quite a flexible platform where you can come, come up with your own sort of applications, we're offering a very flexible uh, bounty for developers to start their ideas and see how they go. Uh, for more ideas on how to get started and just ideas of what other people have worked on in the past and previous hackathons, we have a, a awesome resource list that's called Awesome Golem. So you can find that at github.com slash golemfactory slash awesome dash golem. Uh, so for other things that we are looking for, you need to abide by the submission guidelines for the the uh, OX hack, which you can click on the bounty and find here. It's essentially that your submission must include a video demo and also a working link, of course, to the code. So the code needs to be open source. You need to include your team members. So if you have more than one team member, then you need to include all those in your submission. It also needs to include your presentations, uh, demo, a demo link and documentation. As well, on top of that, each project needs to have a open source license. So DPL version three or a license that's compatible with that license itself. Uh, when you first dive into building on Golem, you should start off in our handbook. So that will be at handbook.golem.network and the main uh, thing that you will want to focus on is the requester section. So we have a kind of flash tutorial to diving into as a requester. So this will be where you would want to start. And then you can make sure that you fulfill the prerequisites and kind of follow on with our tutorial. You will need to know either Python, so use our Python API or Node.js. It's good to note here as well that you don't necessarily need any blockchain experience such as uh, such as Solidity or Viper to be able to build on Golem. So you can use the APIs. And with that, uh, I'm going to pass it on to the next uh, project to introduce their project, but I'm super happy to be working with Ethworks and all the sponsors that are coming along and making this event possible. So I'm looking forward to talking to everyone, feel free to join the OX Hack Discord where we'll be interacting with all the hackers and different sponsors. And yeah, we'll see you guys there. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome to Xerox Hack. I'm Simona, I head up community for status and I'm here to introduce our bounties for this hackathon. Um, to kick us off, um, a brief introduction and kind of setting of the scene for Status. Uh, Status is one of those OG projects in the ecosystem. We've been around since 2017. Um, and we are essentially what you might call a gateway to Web3. Um, the project is made up and the application is made up of um, three ingredients, let's say. We've got a privacy-first messenger, we have a crypto wallet and a Web3 browser. 
Um, the application is available both on Android and on iOS, so it makes it incredibly, incredibly uh, accessible. And then we also have a desktop client that is in beta, but absolutely used by a lot, a lot of people when they want to um, not just do things on the go in crypto, but also um, be able to use desktop. So without further ado, um, our three bounties for this hackathon are build a social dApp that connects to the status wallet that has a 4,000 die prize create a social profile that is a 2000 die bounty and leverage waku js for private messaging that is again a 2000 die uh, bounty now the really fun thing is that last bounty with leveraging waku js you can actually if you complete the first bounty which is build a social dapp um, that connects to status wallet, you are essentially leveraging Waku JS. So you'll see in the description, uh, you can essentially win two bounties with one application. The reason why we wanted to focus on um, private messaging so much is because we believe that social needs to be redesigned. We believe that crypto has, again, all of the ingredients to not only disrupt, but completely, completely change the way we interact with social, the way social applications look uh, and should uh, be built with privacy in mind, decentralization in mind, and this is something that we want to see more and more of. Uh, and it is the main reason why we are here to essentially um, incentivize you guys to build it all. So um, those are the bounties, check them out. Um, you can find us on Discord for any kind of technical questions. Uh, you'll see the guys um, in the status channel uh, of the ZeroX hack. Uh, Discord. And yeah, excited to see what you can, guys come up with. Think broad, think big, think creative, um, and go for it. Excited to see. And uh, good luck. Thank you. Hello, folks. Welcome to Zero X Hack. My name is Jeff Prestes. I'm a blockchain developer at Hermes Network. For those who don't know what ARM is yet, ARM is the most complete and reliable layer 2 solution built on top of Ethereum. We are ZK rollup focused on rescaling token transfer, which means that we use zero knowledge technology to compress and roll up transactions into batches. We launched ARM back in March, and now we are entering a new development phase where we will be building new products on top of our Hermes. We are believers in decentralization. That's why we are here. We also believe in open source software. We made our SICOM circuits, node, wallet, and several other open source libraries. You can find them at our GitHub, github.com slash Hermes Network. And now the good part comes in. We have prepared for you a $10,000 bounty, split into four categories. The largest prize will be $5,000 for the best innovative product built on Hermes. We invite you to present to us a demo of a financial product that you would like to use, a building using our open source code. No idea so far? No problem. Here are some examples. A saving platform that gives you a return using Hermes and Ethereum. An integration with a traditional payments platform enabling fiat deposits directly to Hermes. Innovative token swap functionalities. The second prize will be $2,000 for the best wallet integration. We invite you to present a demo integrating Hermes with a popular crypto wallet. It could be any wallet like Argent, Polygon, Ledger, or Treasure. The third prize will be $1,500 for the best developer tool. We invite you to create, for example, a Hermes SDK on a popular programming language other than JavaScript and Go. Maybe Python, P3, 
PHP, C Sharp, or Java can be some good options for you. Last but not least, we have another $1,500 for the best zero knowledge idea. We invite you to present an innovative hack of using zero knowledge technology on top of a Hermes. New ideas? Okay, no worries. Again, another suggestion for you. Private transactions, massive migrations, layer 2 interoperability, new ideas of CIRCAM usages, or something Q using SNARK.js. Of course, you have a full freedom to present your ideas. You can think of something cool. We are open to hear it. We expect that all submission delivers, delivers at least a video showing how to build and use your product. Also, following a link to the, your GitHub repo. For the innovative product built on Hermes category, we also expect a use case documentation for which your solution adds significant value over centralized alternatives. And hey, one more good news. After the hackathon finishes, we may extend the funding to ideas we really like, even if they don't win one of the prizes. So you must think in long term, okay? Several team members from Hermes will be involved in a, in a hackathon, like Carlos, Elias, Tony, Arnal, Alonso, Jordi, including myself. You can reach out to us in our channel in the Zero X Hack Discord server, okay? Um, and uh, do you want to learn more about Hermes? No problem. We will host a hands-on workshop on Tuesday 18th teaching how to build apps on Hermes with JavaScript and Go. Jordi will give a presentation about the introduction to zero knowledge on Monday 24. We are ex very excited to work with you and build your ideas. Happy coding! Everyone, uh, welcome to Zero X Hack. Uh, I am Muskan, I lead developer relations at uh, Polygon. Um, so I'm here to announce uh, Polygon uh, bounties. So those who have not heard about uh, Polygon, so basically Polygon is a well-structured, easy to use um, scaling uh, platform. So we have been around since, uh, since 2017 and uh, we started our journey with like POS Plasma Hybrid Architect. And since then like have seen a good amount of adoption on these uh, chains. So moving forward, we realize that there have been like a lot of scaling solutions coming along, but there's no one size fits all kind of solution. So we, we, uh, we came up with the idea of a Polygon. Basically, Polygon is a layer two aggregator. So be it like ZK rollups, optimistic rollups, or any, any other like standalone uh, custom chain. So you will be able to find everything on uh, one uh, platform. And uh, right now, the like production ready chains are like POS and plasma chains, and like these chains have good number of adoption. There, I, I think like more than three hundred uh, amount of the under like there are more than three hundred DApps which are uh, deployed on a Polygon POS chain. Uh, and like it's it's a basically POS chain is a commit chain to Ethereum. And like we, we usually say internally that if, if you are a like Ethereum developer, you're already a Polygon developer because all the tools and functionalities which are compatible with Ethereum, they are with like Polygon too. Uh, so it's like if, if you want to deploy your contracts in Polygon, you just need to change your uh, RPC and you are done. You don't, you don't need to do anything else to deploy your contracts on uh, Polygon POS chain. It's, it's really simple to uh, do that. So yeah, that's that's all about uh, Polygon, I would say. And uh, so about uh, bounties. So we, we have a wide range of bounties for zero X hack because we don't want to restrict hackers to like one particular things only. So we'll be, we'll be awarding a total of uh, 10,000 USDT to hackers who build their hacks on uh, Polygon. And we have divided this amount into five categories. So first is open track. So like whatever you want to experiment with Polygon, whatever you want to build, just do it because uh, we, we 
are quite open to it and the best dap which will take um, advantage of polygon scalability and like user interface we will we'll be awarding that dap uh, next is best polygon related uh, tooling so uh, like first like here are, some, here are some of the ideas you would like uh, like hackers to work upon first is a uh, polygon pos bridge analytic analytics basically pos bridge is a bridge from ethereum to a uh, polygon uh, so basically a visual dashboard which can capture following information like uh, a like flow of uh, tokens from ethereum to polygon and then uh, like uh, and vice versa from polygon to ethereum and uh, next is like gas used analytics dashboard basically a dashboard which can compare gas used on ethereum and on a polygon for a particular dap like uh, you can you can like uh, compare like um, like uh, amount of transactions on quickswap and a uh, uniswap and gas used for these transactions uh, next is a yield farm analytics dashboard uh, basically a web dashboard that can uh, capture information like TVL staked and then uh, uh, like emissions of reward uh, token per day and per week. And then uh, LP, LP tokens composition, like uh, all these details which are, which are listed here. And uh, next is a dashboard which can capture information for uh, like for connect bridge which is a which is a bridge between ethereum to bsc and then ethereum to xdai and then matic to xdai so uh, basically a bridge uh, basically a dashboard which can gather information like uh, like influx of various tokens from different chain peers from like from matic to xdai from matic to bsc and vice versa so that kind of a visual uh, dashboard uh, apart from that, like next next category is implementation of DeFi building a block protocols on uh, Polygon. Uh, so this is this is about a, a fork of multiple um, like DeFi uh, protocols on Polygon like Balancer, Maker, Opie, and Ampleforth, and couple of couple of uh, like more of them listed here. And next is explainer videos. So basically, if you're not a developer but you you have a good knowledge of tech and uh, you are a good content creator so this this bounty is for you uh, so basically uh, best expo exp explainer videos for polygon community like uh, videos on how to set up environment for development on polygon how to deploy on polygon using truffle and then uh, how to use network agnostic cases transactions and polygon so all these kind of uh, videos like all the topics are listed here which you can work upon and uh, the last category is best NFT related DAP or uh, tooling. Uh, so some of our ideas here is that one first is like one click marketplace setup using Arzora, and then uh, NFT bridge which can like which you can use to mint NFT on layer two, and then how to move your NFT from layer two to layer one. Basically, a bridge to do that. So yeah, here are some of the ideas in like best uh, NFT related DAP or tooling. So yeah, that's that's all about uh, bounties. If you have any, if you have any kind of queries, like feel free to reach out uh, to me on uh, Discord. We'll be we, we'll be happy to support you guys. I'm really excited to see like what what hackers will build uh, during the zero X hack, and like would love to interact with every uh, one and like see how we can like help you uh, in your adventures. So yeah, that, thanks thanks guys, thanks a lot. Hi again. Let me now tell you about UseDAP and our bounties for Xerox Hack. So, what is UseDAP? Well, UseDAP is a framework for rapid DApp development. It works with Ethereum, and we think it should work with any EVM-compatible blockchain. It's built on modern DApp stack that you might already know and love. It uses React, Ether.js, Web3 React, and Waffle, among others. Now, when it comes to features, it really helps you to build application with all the basic stuff that you would like to do. Manage your connection to the blockchain, reading from the blockchain and managing transactions. It just allows you to do it easier, faster and better. How come? Well, let's start with connection. In just a few lines of code, you can write your first full React application that connects to the blockchain. But the application will automatically connect in the read-only mode. So 
if you want to build an application and you want to and you care about good user experience, what you want to do is allow people to browse the application in the read-only mode before they connect with their favorite web-free enabled wallet like MetaMask or Status. Now, once you once you have that user and he already browsed the application and he do want to connect with a wallet, that's very easy. That's just a single line of code, and this is believe me. And I don't need to convince anyone who built the apps in the in the, in the past. This is this is tremendously shorter amount of code versus what you would have to do with providers and, and, and all the different little things that you need to know about to build your first DApp. Now, when it comes to reading from the blockchain, this is where UseDApp shines. So first of all, there's this feature. If you want to query blockchain, like check the balances or query smart contract state and functions, well, the good user experience Gives you it gives the user always the updated view on the application and the use app what what it does for the user and for the developer it checks in the background if the new block was mined and when the new block arrives it will query the blockchain and it will query only those visible to the user values only those pieces visible to the users will be queried and it and all the queries, all the all the calls to the blockchain will really be combined into a single multi-call, which again is a great for developers because it reduces the cost of running such an application by dramatically reducing the number of calls to your Infura Alchemy on your own custom infrastructure. And it also increase it, it improves the user experience by far because it's just so much faster, so much snappier than when you need to make that many queries. And it's so clever that, again, it detects what is visible for the user and only queries and only combines into a single multiple, single multi-call, all those values that are visible to the user at a given moment. Additionally, if the user changes a wallet or changes a network, again, the application will refresh to show the values that are relevant to the user. Now, when it comes to transactions, it really helps with tracking the state of the transaction. Is it mining? Is it mined? Or maybe it failed? Or maybe there was an exception, user canceled the transaction. You can just access the state. You don't need to wait. You don't need to worry about all this stuff. What you get for free as an extra, there is a history and notification. So you have an access to all the transactions that user was done, that, you, that was made by the user. and. There is also access to notifications, so if you want to display user, hey, this transaction was mined, or this just started, or you changed the wallet, that is also available out of the box. And now, the most important part, let's talk about bounties, let's talk about awards. So, let's start with Best Tutorial Guide Award. It, go, it is $1,000 die, $1, die that goes to the best tutorial or guide written for UseDAP that can be created on your own blog, but that can be also created as a pull request to ethereum.org. They have a great tutorial section, or it can be created as a pull request to our guides, to our documentation on UseDAP. And then there are two awards for the most ambitious developers for building new features for UseDAP. So you can create that as a pull request to UseDAP, and there is 3000 die award for the first place and 2000 die award for the second place for the best features developed for UseDAP. For people who want to build applications, we have even more awards. There is 2000 die award for the best application using UseDAP, uh, use and there is a 1000 die award for the second place. Additionally, we have five uh, more awards for other applications using UseDAP that would go to the third and the following places. So I want to I wanna emphasize that uh, use the bounties are extremely compatible with other bounties that we have uh, on the hackathon. So if you want to build on Moonbeam, Polygon, on Hermes, we didn't try it, we're not 100% sure, but we believe it should work. If you have any problems, just uh, chat with our mentors on Discord and they will help you. If you want to build a social D app on Status, again, you can use use that for that. If you want to combine it with Ramp, with Chainlink, with ENS, or any other bounties really, again, uh, if you're building any D app, why not use it? Why not build it with used app? And um, it's a great way to uh, to combine them together. And 
Last but not least, visit usedup.io for access to documentation and more information about the framework and I wish you happy hacking. And now, back to the studio. Hey, and we're back at the studio and Antonio will tell us a little bit more about even more bounties that we have for the hackers. Uh, yeah, the first one is uh, from Moonbeam. Uh, Moonbeam offers a smart contract pl platform on the Polkadot ecosystem with Ethereum comp compatibility. As a part of this, many of the tools available for the developers on the Ethereum work seamlessly on Moonbeam. Uh, Moonbeam's first challenge is to create a D app that uses integrations available on the Moonbase alpha testnet. Uh, you can find the full list of integrations in the link uh, below the video. Uh, when you're competing in this challenge, please make sure to include the documentation covering the challenges and your overall experience while building the DAP. Uh, that will help the uh, team a lot. Uh, the second challenge from uh, Moonbeam is to build a DAP for uh, staking precompiles for Moonbeam. Uh, this challenge depends on the Moonbase Alpha V8 upgrade that should go live Monday 24th, uh, but teams can start working on the challenge right now. Again, you can find more details uh, in the link uh, to the bounty below. The next one is Ramp. Our good friends from Ramp um, are, are the startup making a blockchain products more useful, accessible, and open through its fiat to crypto, current, uh, to crypto on ramping service. With Ramp, any project can drastically improve its crypto onboarding experience by embedding fiat on ramp service directly into user flow. Ramp is a non-custodial and full infrastructure, meaning they take care of compliance, payments, and liquidity. Uh, the first challenge from Ramp is to, uh, we'll review five projects uh, integrating uh, Ramp's SDK. Uh, the second challenge is quite interesting. It's uh, to build a DApp that will help onboard crypto newbies into the blockchain ecosystem. Uh, the Ramp team created a few personas listed in the bounty description to help you get started. Uh, a pro tip from the team is to use a different block than Ethereum, and uh, you might want to look into Polygon solutions. Uh, and then we have Chainlink. Uh, Chainlink is a decentralized Oracle network that provides reliable tamper-proof inputs and outputs for complex smart contracts and on any blockchain. Uh, you can, uh, if you compete for better challenge, you can build something awesome using Chainlink. And uh, you must use Chainlink to make a state change on the blockchain to be eligible. Anything that came from the Chainlink documentation counts. Make sure to work on your UX, practicality, and technical challenges to win one of the five $1,000 bounties. Uh, we also have uh, bonus bounties from ENS. Uh, ENS will offer a $150 bounty to every project, uh, to the top five projects that uh, incorporate ENS solutions. And uh, we also have a, a generous bounty from DEFCON uh, that will offer uh, free tickets to DEFCON Bogota, which should happen probably later this year, um, to crypto newcomers, people and developers that haven't built a blockchain project before. You can find um, more details on that in the um, bounty description. Uh, we would also like to thank Starkware, StakeDAO, and RD Auditors for supporting ZeroX Hack. Uh, RD Audit Auditors team will be available on Discord to help you make sure all your smart, co smart contracts are up to the highest security standards. Um, and uh, that is all from our sponsors. Uh, we can take a look at uh, the code of contact at the, right now. Yeah. Marek? Absolutely, let's, let's do that. So uh, we want to emphasize that everyone with whatever background is welcome to join ZeroX Hack, do hacking, or uh, be uh, join in any other way. Uh, there are some limitations, though. We, we expect everyone to be respectful to each other. And every, uh, any type of harmful or discriminating behavior will not be, uh, will not be accepted. Yeah, actually, let me, let me just share. Uh, a screen and I think it's gonna be easier for us to see. So uh, judging will be only based on the code developed during the hackathon. So 
guys, no, no, code, no bringing the code that happened before the hackathon and make clear if they're using anything that was built before the hackathon, make it clear to the judges so there is no doubt about the fact that everything was indeed built during the hackathon. And feel free to ask for help. Nobody knows everything. And uh, there's going to be a lot of mentors on the, uh, on the Discord. So make sure you make good use of that communication channel. And then speaking about communication channels, uh, <laughs> little glitches everywhere today, guys. So I apologize for that. Before, I think we had a little bit of sound glitches. Now the presentation is gone, but it's coming back in a second now. Here it comes. So speaking about communications, uh, speaking about communication, uh, our major channel of communication is uh, Discord. You can get there. If, if you're not there yet, make sure uh, make sure you join. Go to bit.ly slash zero x chat. And now when it comes to the uh, when it comes to communication about the bounties, joining the bounties and judging, uh, make sure you use Gitcoin, Gitcoin slash hackathon slash zero x hack. So what's next? Uh, yeah, if you already have a team and project. That's great. If you don't have a team or you don't have an idea to the project, again, you can use Discord, join the hashed information channel. And if you have a project that you want to hack, make sure you create that on, uh, on um, Gitcoin and make sure that the project is visible. If you're looking for a team for the project, make it, make it explicit uh, in the description and uh, join that information channel to announce that you're looking for a team. And um, if you wanna, if you wanna apply for bounties, there are uh, there are certain things you need to do other than just creating the project on the Gitcoin. There are two feedback sessions every Friday from the judges uh, for every single bounty that you want to apply to. So here is an important information: you can apply for more than one bounty, but you should probably know that by now. Now, judging will be based on two-minute videos. It can be a pitch, it can be a video, or it can be a um, screencast. So make sure you link uh, you, that you link to the video on your GitHub when you apply, uh, when you when you that you're gonna link to your Gitcoin uh, project description. And I think that's really most of it from us. Uh, we would like to thank you, uh, say thank you to many people that worked really, really, really hard uh, to make it happen. Uh, happen first of all, huge thanks to Gitcoin. Uh, who is the platform who is hosting us. A uh, huge, huge, huge thank you to Maria from Golem who kicked off the whole organization and was super helpful along the way. Also for Antek and Mateusz, Antek who is sitting here next to me today, and Mateusz who you don't see, but he's uh, doing all the video uh, next to me as well. And to Costanaza and Matthias from Golem and Muskan uh, from Polygon. Uh, I would like to also make extra shout out to our media sponsors, CryptoDev and Zrozumieć Bitcoina or Understanding Bitcoin, which are our Polish media partners that help to get more people on board, more hackers that didn't hack before, didn't do any team work, which is part of our greater mission of onboarding more crypto developers into a blockchain. And we almost done. Uh, we're almost done, and uh, I think there is already one question that we might want to answer. Is attending the feedback session a requirement for submission? Yes, attending the feedback session is a requirement for submission as well as recording two minutes video. So please remember about it and make sure uh, you maximize your chance, chances to get a bounty. And that's all from the opening ceremony. And in just 10 minutes, we're starting with, uh, I think maybe 12. In 12 minutes, we're starting with uh, uh, our opening uh, panel that's gonna be led by Chris Vaclavek. Uh, the title is um, Future of Blockchain. So stay tuned and we'll join you back in 12 minutes. And so if you have any questions, um, make sure you're on Discord. The link should be below in the description. Uh, we are waiting for your questions there and we'll be happy to answer. Thank you. See you around. Have a great hacking. See you soon, guys.